Hello, dear traders. My name is Tim, and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with dollar index. The dollar index is consolidating near 99.50. Yesterday, US retail sales data were released. As expected, the statistics were disappointed as the growth was only 0.2% against the forecast of 0.5%. We also note the results of the survey conducted by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, according to which credit conditions begin to gradually worsen due to a serious increase in the interest rate of the US Federal Reserve. So it has become more difficult for citizens to get new loans, and the number of applications is actively declining. New York Fed experts reported that the overall loan refusal rate reached its highest level since June 2018, amounting to 21.8%. Against uh, this background, the likelihood of an early end of the current cycle of policy tightening has become higher. Next, EURUSD. The EURUSD pair is trading at 1.1220. In the absence of significant economic releases, the movement of the euro is due to the influence of uh, external factors. It is only worth noting that uh, investors are waiting for the release of June date on inflation in the eurozone. In annual terms, core inflation could reach uh, 5.4%. Uh, pushing European Central Bank officials to raise interest rates again. Note that a member of the board of the regulator and the head of the Central Bank of the Netherlands, Klaus Knot, has already said that ECB will closely monitor the statistics uh, coming to the market uh, in order to prevent increased pressure on the economy. Knot also added that this month the rate will be uh, increased. Against this uh, background, we recommend maintaining long position on the EURUSD pair. And finally, AUDUSD. The AUDUSD pair is trading near 0.68. In the focus of investors' attention is the publication of the minutes of the last meeting of the Reserve Bank of Australia. The document states that before deciding to keep the interest rate at the same level of 4.1%, officials discussed the possibility of raising it by 25 basis points. Moreover, the regulator allows the continuation of the hawkish course of monetary policy in the future against the backdrop of high energy prices and falling production volumes. Such rhetoric of the authorities may cause further growth of the Australian dollar, given that the rate in Australia is still lower than in other developed countries, which also resist inflation. So, these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.